Welcome to a Traceable Products instructional video for the Traceable Excursion Track Thermometer. In this video, we will prepare our device to view alarm event history, and then view our alarm event history. Before we get started, it's important to know that your device will only show you the most recent alarm event for each of your probes, but it stores the last 10 alarm events in memory. To view the last 10 alarm events, refer to the downloading stored data video to learn how to extract your data onto a USB drive. Once you've completed that lesson, watch the reviewed stored data video to learn how to review your data. The reviewing stored data video will contain information on how to view the last 10 alarm events. With that in mind, let's get started. Prepare your device to view alarm event history. The first thing we need to do is set our probe switch to the probe you'd like to view the alarm history for. Since I only have one probe in the P1 slot, I'm going to leave the probe switch aligned to the number 1. Next, look for the display switch on the center of your device. Move it so that it aligns with the words alarm. This will change your display to show your current temperature at the top, your set low alarm in the middle, and your set high alarm at the bottom. Keep in mind, this is what my device says. Your device may show different numbers. Now, with our device ready, let's view our alarm event history. View our alarm event history. To view our alarm event history, we're going to use the event display button on the right. Pressing it once will show you the alarm out and pressing it a second time will show you the alarm in. During this lesson, your device may reset back to the previous screen after 15 seconds of inactivity. Simply press the event display button again until you return to the screen you need to view. With that in mind, Let's press the event display button once to learn about alarm out. The alarm out is when your current temperature either exceeded your high alarm or fell below the low alarm. In this case, the top says 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So this means that my temperature exceeded my high alarm of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The row in the middle says what day my temperature exceeded my high alarm of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. In this case, it's June 22nd. And lastly, the bottom row says what time my temperature exceeded the high alarm of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. In this case, the temperature rose above 78 degrees Fahrenheit at 4 p.m. In summary, on June 22nd at 4 p.m., the environment my thermometer was monitoring rose above 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we know what alarm out means, let's learn what alarm in means. Press the event display button while viewing your alarm out to view the alarm in. The alarm in is when the temperature that was out of range earlier returns back in between the low and high alarm range. In my case, the top says 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that the current temperature came back underneath the high alarm of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The middle row says what the date was when the current temperature returned in range of the high and low alarm. In this case, it's June 22nd. And lastly, the bottom row says what time the temperature returned in range of the high and low alarms. In this case, it returned in range at 5 p.m. In summary, if we put the alarm out 
and alarm end information together, we can see that the environment we were monitoring was at a temperature range higher than 78 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. on June 22nd. Do you have any additional questions about your traceable excursion track thermometer? Contact us directly by phone or email and we'll help you with any question you have.